the first question asks us to find the Fourier transform of e to the minus 2t. And that looks exactly the same as that, but we'd have a equals 2. So the answer for the first one would be simply 1 over 2 plus j omega. The second one, we have the sum of two exponentials, a single-sided and a double-sided exponential. So for the first one, we'd have a equals 1, and for the second one, it looks very similar to that. So you'd have alpha equals 5. So here, we use the linearity property to add the two spectra. So we'd have 1 over 1 plus j omega plus 2 multiplied by 2 times 5 divided by 5 squared plus omega squared. So we can simplify that. So we'd have 20 and 25. The next one, this looks very similar to the question we had in part A, except we have a time shift, shift by three seconds. So the Fourier transform would be exactly the same as that from part A. So this is the same as that, no change, except we need to multiply by e to the minus j omega 3. So this is the time shift property. The next one, it wants the inverse Fourier transform, so what it's asking for is x of t. And the expression we have looks very much like that, with alpha equals 10. So the time domain representation would be e to the minus 10 absolute value of t. Now, the next one is slightly less clear because we have the 1 in the numerator. So if we took alpha to be 3, then we would expect that 2 times 3 divided by 9, well, let me write the 9 as 3 squared plus omega squared would correspond to e to the minus 3 absolute value of t. But we don't. We don't have this um, 6. What we do have is a 1. So it's as if we're dividing by 6. So you, you need to divide the corresponding time domain signal by 6. Now, for the final question here, we need to use the duality property because that is in the time domain. So we know that e, let me write what we know, we know that e to the minus a absolute value of t corresponds to 2a over a squared plus omega squared. So using duality, mm -hmm. we can say that um, 2a over a squared plus t squared should correspond to 2 pi e to the minus a omega. Okay, so that's duality. And if you look closely, that's exactly what we have. We have um, in the actual question, we have 2a over 
a squared plus d squared with a equals 10. So I can say a equals 10, and then I can write the answer as two pi times e to the minus 10 absolute value of omega. So that would be our final answer. And that is all the answers from A to F.